With cash bail, whenever you have a system predicated on having to pay money in order to secure liberty, you are going to disadvantage black and brown populations. 76% of the people that are being held in our local state jails across this country are being held there before they have been convicted of a crime. I had to stay in because I could not afford my $7,500 bail. To be taken away from my newborn for the 11 months and four days, it did a lot to me. We have to be honest about this. We've used the criminal justice system to rake money. They have a financial incentive to keep more people in for longer. Over the past 20 years, 100% of jail growth has been the result of the American cash bail system that holds people in jail cells who haven't been convicted of a crime because they don't have enough money to pay. It's unbelievable. We're in a moment right now where there are black mothers sitting in cages that need uh, their voices heard. And so our goal is to be ultimately in pre-child detention. Brianna was charged with possessing someone else's driver's license. So she's been sitting for months because her family can't scrape together $500. My bail was $50,000. My daughters, they've never been without me for this amount of time. On any given night in America, there are half a million people that go to sleep in jail cells because they cannot pay their bail. And it is why it's really become a human rights crisis in this country. It's not just a policy fight. It's a hearts and minds fight.